Hey Cruz families, how are you? Mr. Montgomery here, your student's art teacher. Um, I wanted to talk to you quickly about the annual art fundraiser we have. Um, your student's artwork will be coming home from their first project uh, this week and next week. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I've also sent home a flyer uh, that talks a little bit about original works and uh, instructions for ordering. Um, I have had some uh, questions about the ordering process, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that here. Um, and I just wanted to show you some of the items that they do have uh, and offer through Original Works. Now the thing I really like about Original Works is really the quality of the products. Um, they have coffee mugs, there are different notebooks with uh, lines, they have lined notebook paper, we also have just regular uh, white sketchbooks, there's coasters, t-shirts, hand towels, um, an oven mitt here. You can get your students' work uh, printed on mat board. Mouse pads. These make great gifts for the holidays, um, and I have set a date as at the 13th, so next Friday, November 13th. Um, I, I would suggest to get your orders in before that date if you want your items before the holidays. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on their website, so you can go to originalworks.com to find some of that and see what they offer. Uh, I think they even have masks this year, which is, which is pretty neat. Um, this fundraiser is important because this is really uh, how we make money for the art program. Um, there isn't much funding for the specials programs here, so uh, you know if we want to continue doing fun stuff like clay, sculptures, um, being able to order paper and that sort of thing, then, uh, then we need your help and need your support. So um, the ordering process is gonna look a little bit different. In the past, I have picked the project um, and then I've sent out the work and then you can order just that one project. This year, you can pick whatever you want to have printed onto the different uh, merchandise items. You could do a family photo, a picture of a, a, a family pet. Um, you could have a picture of your student. You could choose an artwork that maybe they did over the summer that they really like or maybe that they did in previous years. Um, you can use paintings, it could be a drawing, it could be oil pastel, it could be a sculpture. Um, so I'm going to show you how to go about uh, photographing work and uh, adding it to your artwork uh, on the Original Works website and then proceed with the order. So um, right here I have a few different types of artwork um, that I'm going to add to my art portfolio inside of the Original Works website and uh, show you how to add that to your cart. So I've just got a, a drawing here. This is a still life drawing that we are doing with third grade currently. Uh, here's a painting that kindergarten are doing, a hot air balloon painting. You should see these coming home very soon. And then also I have a wire sculpture. Uh, here, so you'll be able to see a little better if I put that white behind it. I have a wire sculpture that fourth grade made last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to photograph your work. All right, so if you want to uh, submit a photograph or a painting or drawing uh, for the fundraiser, uh, easiest thing is just to use a cell phone camera. Uh, if you wanted to go to uh, a place like FedEx and have them uh, copy it with their uh, copy machine or scanner, you can do that. But a, a cell phone camera works great, so we're just going to open up your camera. Okay, now you want to do your best to get just a little bit of border around the outside. So you can see a little bit of the table around the outside. Okay, go and snap a picture, good. All right, now for the still life. So I'm gonna turn this one landscape and just get a little bit of border around the outside. Go and snap a picture, good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera for our sculpture. Okay, and for our 3D sculpture, uh, I have created a light box for this. Um, if you just have some white paper you could put behind it, um, you can, that will work too. So I just wanna get my sculpture into the frame here and just try to get a good picture. Go ahead and snap that. And let's see here. I think that looks pretty good. So now I have all three images here and now we just have to go and create our account okay so i already plugged my phone into the computer and i 
put the four images on the desktop. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you can always do this whole process from your phone and just upload them from there. Um, so first thing we want to do is go to the Original Works website, www.originalworks.com. Make sure you spell it correctly. Then the next uh, button we want to click on is Find Gallery, which is in the top left. Go ahead and click on that. And you can either sign in or create account on the top right. I went ahead and clicked on my account. Once you highlight that, go to My Artwork. Okay, it's going to prompt you to either sign in if you are a previous customer, um, if you've participated in the past years, or if you're a new customer, you can create your account here. Once you are logged in, you're going to go down to My Artwork, which is um, going to be the second from the last. You can look at your account information, your previous orders. Okay, so you're going to go to My Artwork. Here you will title your uh, first image. I'm just going to title this one Hot Air Balloon. And then we need to find our file. Okay, so you're going to find the image. Go ahead and hit upload. And then the next screen is going to ask you how you'd like to um, orient your work. And we're going to click on portrait style. Then we're going to title our next photograph, wire sculpture. Choose file, find our next image. Okay, you can always crop your images as well with your phone or device. You can also take these photographs with a digital camera if you have one or a DSLR. But with the cameras on the phones that they're making these days, uh, they're going to be pretty comparable. So I'm just going to find my last artwork here. Going to go ahead and click upload. Make sure our orientation is correct. We're going to choose landscape, save. And now our three artworks are saved in to our account. Now we're going to click on our products. And here we can go through and see all of the products that Original Works offers. Again, if you wanted to use a family photo, you could. If there was a photograph that you or your student took on a vacation or on a hike that you really like, you can use that. I want to encourage you to have your students sign their artwork as well, somewhere in the background. Um, so once you find your item that you want, click on it. Go ahead and select the artwork from your artwork page. Add it to the cart. Okay, then you can go back in and continue to look through other items. So again, you can have multiple images printed on different items, which is a really nice feature this year. So once you're ready to check out, it's going to show your shipping. Go ahead and proceed to check out. And this is where you will put in all of your information. If you want to have an item shipped to a family member as a gift, you can do that. And then um, importantly, at the bottom, we want to make sure that we put in K-R-U-S for our school code um, so that we get credit for it and then you can finish your transaction. I hope that that cleared up some of your questions. If you have any uh, issues or further questions for me, please email me at rmontgomery at psdschools.org um, and I can get those answered for you. I appreciate all of the support from you here at Cruise and remember, Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life.